Now, you're looking for a career in tech, well, perhaps you should register with Indeed Prime. It's the world's largest job site. Now, instead of you looking for the perfect job, let the job come to you, and it is free. Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. Lenovo has sent me the Y740 to check out. It's the uh, 9th Gen 9750H with a 2070 Max-Q, and at uh, this time it's been refreshed with the uh, new 500-nit display. So that should be pretty exciting. Now, um, I did look at the uh, last year, I looked at the 8th Gen, again with the 2070 Max-Q. So, uh, you know, in my review, you know, I'll be doing some benchmarking and stuff, but I won't be going perhaps as, as, as much as in depth. I will check out temperatures, of course, but I'll be mainly focusing on probably the screen and how it compares to the Wi Fi 40. But if you haven't seen that video, you know, click up here for sure. And, and this is the first look, and in this first look, I will be, you know, comparing it against the Wi Fi 40 I have as well. But as you can see, it's a huge box. And here's the box for the Wi Fi 40, both 15 inch laptops. So I don't know why it's a huge box, but there you go. Now I won't bother going what's inside the box because basically it's all the same stuff. But what you get, of course, you get the laptop and you get, you get the power supply, which is a 230 watt brick. Now it's the same brick as you get on the Wi Fi 40, you know, to standardize everything. And it's a big brick, as we've already discussed. As I say, it's an all aluminium build and it's a nice build, uh, nice, nice quality. I do like it. And of course, you've got the Legion logo here. It's a nice clean look. So if you want to take it away on the business, you can do. And you can, this uh, little symbol here does light up, but you can turn that off and on as you wish. So that's pretty nice. So let's have a look and see how bright this panel is. Nice. Oh, the glare. Nope, oh, there's a nice panel for sure. So the, the keyboard's between the Y740 and the Y540. Separate number pad on the Y540. Not no number pad here, but you do have some macro keys here on the left, which does push the keyboard over to the right a little bit and makes it a little bit more awkward. You've got the Lenovo Vantage button, a recording app, two macro keys and keyboard lighting controls here. And then uh, in terms of the lighting, RGB keyboard lighting here per key, which is very nice. And of course, on the Wi Fi 40, it is just white. The keyboard deck, smooth aluminium here. A nice, actually, rubberized coating here on the plastic deck on the Wi Fi 40. Trackpads are a similar size. And uh, one thing I did notice was that the Lenovo Y740 didn't really activate on the mouse button much here on the left hand side. You had to press more in the middle or to the right. Well, I had no such issues on the Wi Fi 40. So here's the ports Y740 on the top. Y540 on the bottom, and uh, you'll notice actually you do have a bigger air vent here on the Y740, so I think the cooling is certainly going to be better on here. And so you've got on the left hand side a combo headphone mic jack and a USB C Thunderbolt 3 port here, so that's nice to have there. And as you can see here, a speaker firing down at the front. So it's round the back where most of the action takes place, of course. So uh, we have the Y740 here up at the top, and you'll notice that. You, uh, in the heat uh, sinks here, you do have the RGB lighting that shines through. So that's a nice little touch. Uh, both have uh, mini display ports. Now the Wi-Fi 540 has a USB-C port. It's not a Thunderbolt port, so that's a big differentiator. Of course, both have uh, HDMI 2.0s and Ethernet jack. Uh, the Y740 has another USB type A port here, and both have the same square or rectangle shaped uh, power connector and Kensington lock. So here on the right hand side, we have Nova hole for both, and uh, we have a USB Type A port. And uh, here, this port here on the Y740 is the one for the power delivery. Now, both the Y540 and the 740 have symbols along the back here, so you can see what the, the connectors are. But the Y740 has them lit up, whilst the Y540 does not. Both have the Legion logos here on the lid, with the uh, symbol here lighting up white on the Wi Fi 40, and it can be changed here on the Y740 within the software. And it can be uh, deactivated by FN and L on the keyboard. So, looking at the BIOSes, we've got the Y740 here on the left and the Y540 here on the right. And the BIOSes are pretty much identical. So, you can see, yeah, uh, the Y740 is running BIOS 1.06. If you look at the configurations, we have the, the same type of things. We've got the uh, graphic device changing between the discrete and uh, the uh, 
you know, integrated graphics. And there you also have the option to enable BIOS flashback, which I definitely recommend. And also configuring the, uh, the you know, charging mode on the USB port. So that's pretty much it in the BIOS. So here we have the undersides of both the Y540 and Y740, and they're actually pretty similar. You'll notice that the, uh, the raised air intakes here are on the Y5, uh, Y740, and I do prefer the look of uh, the Y540. It's not as raised, so it does look nicer, but easy to get into. Plastic here, of course, aluminium on the Y740. There's um, two big differences you can see straight away. Um, I would say you've got the GPU here, and you've got the GPU on this side, so it's swapped around. Uh, you do have bigger side heat sinks on the Y740, very small ones on the Y540. So that make it, will make a difference in the cooling. Um, other than that, 55 watt hour battery on the Y740, 57 watt hour battery here, very similar. Both have a hard drive. Now the Y540, my unit didn't come with a hard drive and I didn't see a SATA cable in the box. Both have the uh, M.2 slot here, the PCI Express SSD. Both have 9560 Wi-Fi cards. The fans have more blades actually on the Wi-Fi 540, but it runs hot and it didn't uh, seem to move that much air. At idle actually, more hot air was coming out the back of the Y740 than the Wi-Fi 540, so there you go. Now in uh, here you have the RAM underneath the covers here. Both running a dual channel. Which is nice for them to do that and uh, the speakers actually fire down here at the sides on the Y740 and fire more down at the front on the 540. Quick comparison of the weight the Y540 4 pound 14 ounces and the Y740 5 pounds so pretty similar and they both use the same 230 watt power brick and the Y740 travel weight 7 pounds 2 ounces. A quick footprint section here of the Wi Fi 40, 740, HP Omen 15T. As you can see, all pretty similar size, really. And uh, when you open them up, you get an idea of uh, what the keyboards are like and the trackpads. So here's a screen comparison between the Y540 on the right, Omen 15T in the center, and the Y740 on the left hand side. Now the Y740 purports to have a brightness at 100% of 500 nits. I measured 417 nits, whilst the 540 and the Omen 15T have 330 nits, so slightly less bright. And the color accuracy on the Y740 was 99% of sRGB, and that was pretty good. I couldn't quite measure it on the uh, 540 because of uh, Windows 1903. But one thing you will note is that the difference in brightness as you reduce the brightness level is quite substantial. Um, certainly as it drops down to uh, below 50% level, the 540 and the 740 drop off a lot. So let's have a quick look at that. So now we're around about the 50% level and I measured 68 nits on the 740 and uh, 40 nits on the 540 whilst the Omen 15 is 108 nits. And that drops off uh, even further as you lower it down. So if you're trying to conserve battery life using lower screen brightness, you may struggle to see the content. So last year when I reviewed the Y740, they actually gave you a bit of a max fan control. FNQ would do that, but now they've changed the software. A bit like on the Y540, it alternates between balanced performance mode and quiet mode. Quiet obviously reduces the CPU clock speed quite substantially. And in my testing on the 540, balance uh, didn't seem to do anything in terms of the temperatures. And uh, performance, of course, is max performance. So let's see how hot this thing gets. So Time Spy and Ada64 running. CPU temperatures up here 83, 87, 88, 91 up there, perhaps the, the, the physics test. And uh, if you look at uh, HW info, average CPU clock rate was 3400 throughout the whole test. This is continuing from the 8064 stress test. Average temperature was around 80, so that's, that was great. Uh, the power, so we're still at 60 watts. 
So we're averaging around about 60 watts there. So I think all in all, this is a great improvement over the Y540, uh, uh, which required, you know, an undervolt, underclock, as you'll see in my coming review, and also even, perhaps even using the quiet mode. This is high performance mode. Now, the main differences between the 540 and the 740 is that the, of course, you know, like the 740 has now got this brighter panel, uh, but it has G-Sync, that's a big difference. And um, now, of course, they, they both have switchable graphics. You can either go dedicated to the, to the dedicated GPU, the NVIDIA GPU, or you can uh, have hybrid modes. You can switch between both, and that's very nice for both. This uh, the 740 has a Thunderbolt uh, three port, while the 540 only has USB-C. And battery size is about the same, 57, I mean, 55 watts, 57 watts hours. Um, Another big difference here, it does have uh, bigger cooling on the sides. You know, the, the heat sinks are bigger here. So the cooling should be better here on uh, on the, the 740 for sure. But the price differences, the, you know, for the same type of configuration, perhaps even a bit more storage, the Y540 is better value in the sense that it's like, you know, one to $300 cheaper for the same type of hardware inside. So anyway, Put in the comments below what you'd like me to particularly test on the under 740, but I will be comparing against the Wi-Fi 40, of course. And thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.